What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So a really cool new Decky Loader plugin has come out. It's in beta form and we'll get into that, but it's called Decky Frame Gen and it basically replaces DLSS in games with FSR3 upscaling and frame gen in games that don't have it available, which is pretty useful for a lot of titles. And we're gonna get in and take a look at it. I'm gonna do a full guide on getting this beta to work with Decky Loader and how it's working in the games. So let's go ahead and get into it and take a look at this new plugin for Decky Loader on the Steam Deck. Now you will need Decky Loader, of course, on your Steam Deck. And if you don't have it already, I have guides on the channel for it. I'll put a link in the description and I'll probably be doing a new guide as well, uh, updated, but this will help get you through if you don't have Decky Loader installed already. They have their own website to do the downloading and all that. Besides that, of course, you'll need the Decky Frame Gen plugin that we're gonna manually install into Decky Loader on the deck. So on my Steam Deck, I already have Decky Loader installed. I will quickly show you, but yeah, it's already installed. I don't have any plugins on here right now because I've recently had a factory restore, but I've gotten that ready to go recently. Um, so yeah, it'll be ready to go here, but there's no Decky Frame Gen in the official store yet, as I mentioned, but it should be coming there soon enough. So this is a beta version that we are downloading and installing into Decky manually, and I'm going to show you how to do that here. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do then is go to our power options here on the deck and we're gonna to go to the desktop mode because that's where we need to handle everything from here on out until we're ready to come back to game mode. So on desktop mode, the first thing, again, if you don't have Decky Loader already, you wanna make sure you have that installed first. You can go to your browser, search for uh, Decky Loader. They have their official website that I mentioned earlier. Go there, download the uh, file here right from their web page. This is the only difference from the guide that I already have up. I believe I use the GitHub download, but it's essentially the same thing. So we're gonna download that and go into your downloads folder and you'll see the Decky installer here. And all we're gonna wanna do is double click that, execute that and follow all of the installation. Again, I'll have a link in the description for my guide as well if you need some help, but you need Decky Loader installed first. Once you have Decky Loader installed, or if you already have it installed, we're gonna go ahead and get the plugin that we need for this. So we're gonna go get the Decky Frame Gen plugin right from GitHub here. I'm gonna have a link to this in the description as well. We wanna go over to where the releases are at and we're gonna grab the newest release, which at time of making this video uh, just happened yesterday. So we're gonna uh, come down here and grab Decky Frame Gen .zip right here. We're just gonna click on that to download it. All right, you're gonna see the download happening up here. Once that's done, we can minimize or close out our browser and then we're gonna come down here to our file uh, folder, our Dolphin browser, and we're gonna go into our downloads folder. And you can see the Decky Frame Gen .zip that we have uh, downloaded here from the uh, GitHub page. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and extract it right here. I just like to already have the file ready to go. So there we go. So now I've got that extracted. What we're gonna want is the Decky Frame Gen folder right here. And we're gonna wanna put that into our plugins folder so we can go manually install that over in game mode. So let's go to home. And this is gonna be in our homebrew folder. And it's going to be in the plugins folder inside of that that we want to put that folder. But we do need to change some properties. So right click, go to properties on homebrew, go to permissions. And then here, you're going to want to change all these to can view and modify content. That way it'll allow us to move over or copy and paste over the folder. So I want to make sure all those are set to that. Check off the little box here at the bottom. And now we're going to click OK uh, and close this out. Now it's not just the homebrew folder. You should go ahead, click on that to open up, go to the plugins folder, do the same thing. Right click, go to properties. We're gonna go to permissions and we're gonna do the same thing and make sure all those drop down menus are switched over. So let's switch that, can view and modify content. Click the same box here, click okay. And those are done. Now you need to close out the folders and reopen them for it to activate. Once you do that, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna minimize that a little bit so we can open both our downloads folder as well as our plugins from Homebrew. Move this here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this folder over. You can drag it over, cut it, copy, whatever you wanna do. And then we're gonna put it over here in the plugins folder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste mine over here. Paste one folder. And then it'll do its thing there. It won't take very long. And uh, that'll put it into the plugins for Decky Loader. And then when we go back to game mode, we're gonna um, be able to manually install it from there and then start using it. So once that's done, we can close these out. All right. And then uh, we can go ahead and click over here and go back to uh, return to gaming mode. And we'll go ahead and finish getting this plugin installed over there through Decky Loader. So go ahead and click on here and get back to gaming mode. 
All right, now that we're back in gaming mode, let's finish the install here with Decky Loader. So my quick access menu, going down to Decky, and here we have Decky Frame Gen now showing up for us. We have install FG mod right here, which will be easy to do. And we've also got the game showing up that it's installed on the deck here that we can patch or unpatch as we want to. So we'll go up here and go ahead and get this installed first before we do anything else. So click on install FG mod. It won't take too long for this to go through and get installed. And you'll see it says once the mod's installed, patch one of the games below to replace DLSS upscale and frame gen options with FSR3 equivalents. Games with launchers not currently supported. And there it's done. It says you can now replace DLSS with FSR frame gen and also FSR upscale in games that don't already have it and we'll take a look at that here uh in just a second but yeah so we'll go down through here and uh, the first game i'm going to patch up is hogwarts legacy we're also going to take a look at a plague tale requiem because that didn't have any fsr whatsoever and still doesn't so we'll take a look at that but we'll click patch on here and then it'll say launch options set successfully for hogwarts legacy you can now select dlss in the games settings menu so let's go ahead and launch into hogwarts here and we'll get into the game we'll go to settings and you'll see I didn't have any upscale on. Now we have the option for DLSS here. Uh, upscaling, we have FSR in this game, but uh, we didn't have FSR's frame gen because we didn't have FSR 3. So we can now use frame generation in this game. Now, this is just still TAA none here. So we're running 30 to 40 FPS. We'll settle out here and stay in one spot. Uh, 35, 37, uh, 38, 39 FPS right here sitting still. Now we'll go in here to back to our settings, to our graphics. And we'll go ahead and turn on the DLSS option, which will also allow us to turn on frame generation. I'm going to leave that on auto for now, but we'll go ahead and go back here. And now you'll see instead of that 39 to 40, we're going to be up to 68. I'm fluctuating in the 50s and 60s now, all the way up to 70 something there. So a big difference for something like Hogwarts Legacy here to be able to access FSR 3 frame generation, replacing that DLSS option, because that's definitely a feature I've wanted for this game is FSR's frame gen. Now, it is not perfect. It could use a little bit of work and it can be a little janky, not the smoothest thing. But what a lot of potential this brings to games like this. Now, I also want to take a look at a Plague Tale Rec Realm because this is another big deal. This game had zero FSR whatsoever, not upscaling or frame gen when it launched. And it often runs in the 20s. It's very hard to run this game, especially on the Steam Deck. But with this Decky plugin, we can actually go into settings now and see the DLSS options, not just the older resolution optimizer that we had. So I can now go through and turn that on. Use it just like I would FSR. So that would be FSR 3. We don't have frame gen on just yet, but we went from 24 to... 28, 29 FPS, we gained 5 FPS just by turning on DLSS, which is replaced with FSR there. Go ahead and turn out to performance, we can get up to 31, 32. And I know FSR's performance mode looks pretty rough, but I'm just saying, potential-wise, what it can do for a game like this is pretty big deal when it didn't have any FSR, and you're on an AMD product here like the Steam Deck. This is really cool for Decky Loader uh, here on this. So, yeah, we'll leave this on performance, we'll go back into settings, and we can go ahead and turn on the uh, frame gen for this as well. So let's go in here and turn on frame generation. We'll go back here. And now in this game where we were 24 FPS a minute ago, we've upscaled it and frame genned it. And we're at about 56, 55 FPS. Isn't that really cool for a game like this that, that had no support like that before, at least not this easy. And when this plugin's out of beta and hopefully working even better and in the store easier for people to access and install, this is really nice. This has a lot of potential for the Steam Deck for any older title that doesn't have FSR 3 or FSR 3.1 with frame generation and only has DLSS options or has FSR upscale but no frame gen option while it has DLSS as the option. So really useful there and I think there's a pretty cool plugin with a lot of potential. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on it going into the future and covering it more, especially when it hits the store officially. So hopefully you guys found this guide useful. As always, thanks a lot for coming to check it out and watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.